Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Meadow Grove. You join me, Simulation for the Nation, as we are pushing on with our own little enterprise here. Uh, we're trying to get ourselves stepping away, and I think we're doing a fairly decent job of it. Uh, we are. We've changed up our approach to vegetable harvest here because I wanted to really crack on. Now, the keen-eyed amongst you will see. That it is only still September there, and that's fine because uh, we were going to do one video per calendar month there, but uh, there's just too much going on in September at the moment for us to skip past it already. So I want to show you what that looked like uh, and what that might entail. And we're going to keep flying along through and see how much we can get done. We're still in the rented tractor. It's a phenomenal machine. It's absolutely flying, so no need to get rid of it. And we've got a lot of road work to do at the moment, so it's perfect to have it around there. We're caught in in the brand new trailer of ours. Well, new to us. Uh, this is we're carting carrots because we're lifting them with a different harvester that we've leased in just to get this job sped up a little bit. Uh, so it means that we're able to take well, what we've got here, best part of 13 ton here, uh, in one hit, which is all going over to a newly installed processing plant. Uh, I currently have 25,000 pounds in the bank, which is great, but I took out a loan of 130,000 so we had a lot more at one point because we only went and bought ourselves a brand new uh processing plant really put it into the map so it's all set up there so we can actually uh, have carrots processed and make a little bit more of them because the return from just bulk carrots wasn't as good as it could be and so we decided to change that so we're looking good we're going to take this case trail load on the back we'll get a tip and then we'll go back on over the yard to show you what's going on. October is going to be a month where we uh, should have most of the, the groundwork done. This case will probably be gone by then. Uh, and we'll be looking to just really crack ahead and do a few things around the yard, really. Plant some trees, do a bit of landscaping work, sort out what we're going to do uh, elsewhere. Because I've got a bit of a plan in place for that one as well. Because remember, the one thing we're trying not to do is use cereal crops. So we've got to be a bit clever about how we do that. But our processing plant is just up here and so we'll get ourselves in uh i'm hoping to see i haven't been down here for a bit uh, so i'm hoping to see some pallets there that'd be fun and um, we should see plenty of things happening and that will that should look good for us so we'll, let's see as we just creep into here oh there are we've got four of them as well sweet we have to come down and get those picked up here Okay, let's just uh, stick ourselves into reverse. <laughs> Round the corner we go. Beautiful. This trailer is perfectly sized for what we're doing here, actually. It's not too big, so you can get around the headlands that we have on our fields. Uh, not too heavy either. Um, and also, small enough to get under the harvester with ease. But it's still, like I say, I mean, this has got not even 90% full. It's got nearly 13,000 liters of carrots in here. So that's pretty good. All said and done. Everything's in a bit need of a wash here, but we can hold off on that front. So our carrots are going in. Oh, the trail's got 14% damage, I see. Uh, and then, yeah, like I say, we are making tom uh, tomato soup. That'd be weird. We are making carrot soup. So that's going to be sold off at some point. We're going to have to get a loader to uh, down here with a trailer on. And that won't be a problem because we bought one. Was it on the plan? No. Did I look into our uh, morning sales or discount log and see that there was something there? Yes. So that kind of made up my mind, really. And it is. Well, I love it frankly i think it's absolutely superb so that's exactly what we've gone and done um and we're gonna have a look at that and the reasons why really as well so we'll see when we get back on over so let's just beetle on our way back on over to the yard there and we'll show you what's what's been working well and what we're working on now actually uh since you were last year there's probably been quite a few changes so we'll get all caught up to speed with all those as well uh, but yeah, I feel like we're really kind of settling up there. I don't see myself, with the exception of like high worker costs, I've currently got one on the go at the moment. I don't see us spending money anywhere else at, right now, which is good. And um, we'll just have to see how that goes in terms of if we need any more inputs or uh, what that might look like. But right now, uh, I think what I want to start to do is see a little bit more money coming in from the orchard that we have there. There is a plan for the other side of that orchard because I want, like I say, we're not using cereal crops. I want to um, get some kind of firewood kindling setup going there the diversification that we all want to see um and the reason is because i actually have access to a sizable chunk of trees just up here 
so with that being said I figured I might as well use them uh and see if we can if we can turn this into some kind of kindling of some sort I'm not sure how I'm going to do that or what machine I'm going to use to do that with but that's a different problem for a different time I suppose but all these little trees in here are all good so I came in with a chainsaw and lopped one down really and made a bit of a mess but I need to be a bit more strategic about what we're doing in there because there are trees there to be had so we should we should make a go of it alrighty through we go It's actually quite a nice little spin over to that, uh, that tipping point there. Now, not too bad at all. Getting some hours on this case, though. And the John Deere is racking up the hours as well, considering it's only in one field harvesting. But yeah, we're, we're, we're piling on the hours. This was brand new. It's leased, of course, still, this case. And it will be going back when we can... Uh, when, we, when we don't need that. The lease costs are too much not to send it away. Thank you, Carl, for not beetling up the inside of me like they always want to do. As Lord knows, that happens a lot. Uh, so. Now, we've finished up plowing half the, the field uh, when we were last with us. Uh, that's been plowed over. It's been stone picked as well. We had at least a stone picker in because there are a lot on here. So we'll have to do that when we get around to the second half. And then we've also been able to jump on in with the our cultivator. And get that done and now as we come around the corner hopefully you're gonna see there he is the Massey is on with the drill with the grass harrow and it's working away and crucially in front of it look at our new machine we got a jcb folks and it is looking superb so let's just creep through here and uh, we're going to just park ourselves up here by the john deere i think uh, you'll see that the this is a different harvester to ours. Uh, ours is in the shed. We used it a little bit more just to cut open this big block and give us plenty of room on the headlands there to get around it, which worked out pretty darn well for me. I was very happy with that. Um, I'm not sure if we'll get back onto here today, but we'll park this here anyway because, well, we're going to have to do a bit more. And I think the aim will be here that we might do one more trailer load out of this and then the rest of it will go back in the crates. We'll return this harvester and we'll be all set to go there. Uh, and then, of course, the, the case can, at that point, nearly get returned. But we might keep it until the, the month's end there. But we'll see. Meanwhile, good old Massey here is cracking along. This is grass that's going into here. So this will be the first half. The new plan is that this half will, this whole field's going to go into grass. I can't plant either carrots, beet, or um, parsnips until early springtime. So what we can do is, theoretically, we can just push that back to mid-spring we'll get a crop of silage or hay off here first probably silage um and then we can uh you know do what we want with that silage but then also have a bit more of a rotation in here so this will have some benefit to it it'll get some work uh, some growth over the over the winter months now unfortunately it's not gonna have much of a, a nutrient content in that one but i might look into putting some kind of organic material on here as well just to see what we can do but we, for the short term at least, are growing grass in here now. The orchards have the grass seeded into it as well. Uh, and this will come up nicely. And yeah, looking like a good, good uh, crop here. So I'm happy with that. Very, very happy. Uh, I might look to get a cheap set of rollers if I can. Uh, just to get that all rolled down. Now this section here is where I'm thinking of putting some form of like kindling, log splitter or some, some processing up here. Because um, I feel like we've got greenhouses in a lot of places. Now, I may still put a greenhouse here just to get a little bit more productivity, but the the orchard's doing quite a good job of that already. Uh, so we'll see. And yeah, most of the rest of the field was exactly like this. So that's a lot. But this seems to be going in very well into a lovely seed bed. So we'll leave it to continue. And then, yeah, we'll um, see what we need to do with this, uh, with this field for yield as well and take it from there. Uh, now, what I want to do... We need to take that JCB for a bit of a spin, I think. Um, and I'm just trying to wonder what we're going to do with that. What we might actually do. All of these potato crates. This is going to be great because we can either sell them if we get really good high demand. But I don't think that would come anywhere near the process and opportunity either. So we'll likely just uh, stick these into the shed with the uh, with the others. Uh, and then we'll be, we'll be good to go. And we can just come back to them when we need them. And figure out our next steps from there. So let's get on with that one. And up we go. Not 
nicely does it around the corner perfect get that open there you are so the yard itself is starting to fill up with bits of machinery most of it is old uh, and that's absolutely fine by me and it's yeah i'm liking how it's how it's coming together i think what i'll do right now is just leave this about here drop you off there happy days happy days uh oh wham oh wham And so, yeah, these are all going to be tipped into here. We got a recently added in a fuel tank and a pressure washer because everything was getting dirty and in need of fuel. Uh, so that looks good. Uh, this is our harvester. We're keeping that one, of course. The other one's just rented in there. Same one row pickup. Um, this one just does take a little bit more time with the boxes and the crates. It'll be a bit more strategic. And that's why I opted to eventually just go and pick up a new telehandler. It was um, on sale by 56%. So I only paid about 47 or 49 grand before configurations. So it made it about 51 or 52. So I couldn't really... I didn't think I could really say no. And we're going to be using it a lot. So this is what we have in here so far. Four rows by uh, two high. And there's going to be probably, I would say, close to, uh, close to double that. I think would be a fair assumption. Um, so we would, you know, have to... We've got a lot to do. So it makes sense to have it and then of course if we're going to continue to put them all into the um into that soup factory we are going to need to cart them down there load trailers up uh and then unload pallets as well at the same time so it's going to get its working that's for sure now uh let's just try and take as much of this away as we can Why did I take the middle one there first? I don't know, but as luck would have it, it worked out okay. Of course, we're using our joystick for this as well, so it makes it nice and simple, nice and smooth. And then we go. Now, in reality, I'm sure there'll be some kind of washing plant here. I look forward to seeing if that kind of thing actually materializes on any uh, any mods, like uh, something you can bring in the trailer, tip it in there, wash, it, wash the old produce through. And then uh, bring it out the other way for perhaps a little bit more value. That would be pretty cool to see. Now this gate is a little, a little narrow. Where are we going? There you are. Perfect. And that mass is flying through over there as well. I'd love to see that. Um... Once you've got the field opened up a little bit with the uh, with the crates, the harvester, I find it so much easier to get in with uh, with the regular and low. That's not going well. Um, and you can actually get a bit of space to get in there and work around. So I'm very pleased with that. It just me makes it a little bit more comfortable. So we will uh, continue to do that. It'll certainly open up a field, but when we drill our new fields, there we will be putting a bit more effort and attention into headlands uh, and making sure there's. Um, opening points for the harvester really i've already got a plan with how i'm going to do that so that should look pretty good all right and that we go for this one as well Getting good to do that a little bit better there. There you go. I mean, this tail handler is coming with quite a few hours on there. Twenty-two and a half already. Uh, so it's well used, but we'll be we'll continue to use it anyway and just keep an eye on it. I'm sure it's gonna be fine uh, for everything that we want. All right, looks like the massive flying over there. I don't know what he's doing now, but uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be nice for us to just be having our own two machines again, and we could probably just about manage with the two right now. But 
the Massey wouldn't be very good on uh, road work there and I feel like having that extra little bit of power and weight on the harvester is good for the John Deere to be on there as well so uh, having the case around sure it's a little bit expensive but you know it's it's a lot cheaper than it would be to buy a brand new uh, tractor of that size so uh, that would be just a no non-starter there for me uh, so yeah we'll keep it around we'll see how we get on with it and uh, you know we'll take it from there but I think yeah ultimately I think it's a uh, I would love to be able to afford to pick up the uh, the case, but just not going to happen. I think the base model of that's about 80, 90 grand, so not going to happen anytime soon. We've got quite a loan to pay off now since I uh, increased the loan amount, so we that is going to be first and uh, priority to try and get that down over the next 12 months, and then we'll be able to see from there. Uh, but yeah, this is coming together quite nicely anyway, and I'm hoping that we can really see a nice big uh, profitable uh, boost in our operations here with the likes of the um, uh, with the super factory in place there as well so if we do then we've got nothing to worry about at all zero but yeah we'll just have to see how it plans out we'll see how it goes and uh, make any adjustments as and when we need to uh, we'll get this one all unloaded anyway and then we'll probably start work on that last trailer load just to get it done and then we can say that we're all set uh, and then we can look into Looking to finish off this field. This current field has been a mission, but we're uh, we're almost there. Oh, and look at the Spitfires go as well for the last one. It's always nice to have them on patrol. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with the rest of the yard space down here either. There's quite a lot of space that we're not using at the minute, but uh, I'm sure we'll figure out something that we can do. Uh, we'll probably just stick that there for now. Park that there as well. Wonderful stuff. All right, so those two crates there are empty, unfortunately, so I need to figure out what to do with those. Um, I've got to move that trailer. We'll come back and get that. All right, so the Massey looks like it's all but finished. We'll just go make sure that's all done and dusted so we don't need to worry about that anymore. It's getting into the evening here. We've got another day of September to grind through and uh, get a little bit more harvest in there. There's a chance that we might not have much left to do on this harvest here at all. But, you know, we're, uh, we're really getting through it. Let's have a quick look around the edges here. Maybe one headland passes to smooth that out there, and then that bit down in the middle. Okie dokie. And that's going to be us looking good around here. Nearly used up the full hopper as well. This old mass is an absolute beast. It's about 90 horsepower, so it's done all of the uh, the cultivation work here without a, a single misstep or anything. It's been great. Uh, we'll just get this all taken care of, though. Then, yeah, what we're going to do right down the middle here, kind of where we're going to drive down now, we're going to uh, plant a, uh, probably plow this one out and then drill it with um, planting some trees and then just put grass in here as well as a little bit of a divider those trees at some stage it is going to be agroforestry so we are going to look to remove those and harvest them at some stage or another so that we can use them and, and sell them on as part of the next business stage but yeah that's what we're thinking there and then we're all looking good that should be us all good hopefully getting an all in one pass we are we'd love to see it so even if we don't make a great deal of bales off here, it's just going to be a good way to get a second crop off of this field before we stick it back into uh, the main crop as well, though, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, crop rotation is going to be key for us here, so we can stick a uh, break crop of grass in, and it leaves the field in a bit better state. Plowing in, in the vegetation as well, so uh, that's always good. Get that organic matter back into the ground. And I think we've got a little bit more by that tree to sort out, and then we're all looking good there. We've been doing a lot of harvesting here and, and here and on stream as well, but I think it's uh, it's coming together quite nicely. All right, we're done. Perfect. Turn off the seed there, stick us into a higher gear. There you go. And we'll go and park this one up as well, keep everything tidy away. Uh, and then, yeah, like I say, almost for an evening of carrot lifting in Meadow Grove there. What better way to spend the evening under what is looking like the start of a great sunset as well. So we should be in great shape for it. And uh, we'll see how we get on. 
come and join us for more updates throughout the course of the week there i've got we'll try and bring the next one at the end of october november time as well uh like i say we're aiming just to do the one per season but we'll see how we get on with that uh we're gonna park this here because we'll need this again very soon did you shut there you go down perfect and then we're just gonna hurdle the fence these are our saplings that we have here ready to go just need to figure out how to fill that up so we can get going uh over we go and we'll get this all underway uh like i say there's still quite a chunk left here we have a look on over uh there's still maybe a quarter of the field left to go and we're into the long old drags now as well so it does take a little bit longer to get through it all but we're doing what we can and uh like i say this harvest of this approach does speed things up from that perspective because you don't have to keep moving crates around but long term it's uh you know we'll, we'll probably split harvests in between but we'll see um what we'd have to do for that really would be to buy a whole new harvesting setup and i'm not sure we're going to do that yet uh because that's gonna be expensive but yeah we will get ourselves back along with this very shortly here and we'll you'll see more updates from us as we get going uh, but yeah, we'll leave it here for right now, I think. So thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you have all enjoyed. If you haven't, you've yet to do so. Don't forget, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. And let me know if you are new, where you're watching from for the first time as well. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. And we'll catch you later.